So, Corey, what, what, what brings you down here today? Exactly the operation. Well, tell me, why do you want the, why do you want the operation? Well, I took a, I scrutinized my body last night. Uh-huh. More than ever. And I decided that I need to be refurbished. Totally. I mean, for example, I pierced my nose and I broke the pierce. I mean, just things, just little things that they can perturb you because perfection is so beautiful and I do want to be exquisite beautiful. Like that. Like that? So what kind of things do you want? What kind of things do you need done? The only thing that was offered was nose, breasts, and heaviness. And a little lipo. Yeah. And you need all those things? Yeah, I'll take them. You'll take them? Yeah, because the girls that he's that have already approached him about it, he's not been pleased with working with them because uh, Howard's kind of like a sculptor. And I'm worth sculpting on. Like that. Right. Right. All right, Croy. In other words, he'd be really proud of the product. You think that after that all that surgery, you're going to come out and you're going to be like, perfect? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You know Croy who comes on our show sometimes? Yeah. She wants to come in here and be nude for us. Oh, no. Why? No, no. Because she wants to win the Frankenstein contest, get liposuction and a nose no, job? No, 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 no. And big breasts? <laughs> I got to see this. Yeah, no, yeah, I guess we do. You no, know, because she's she's not homeless, but she's kind of homeless. I don't know what her deal is. I've never been able to figure it out. She wants to be nude. Why? <laughs> Come on in, Croy. Come on over here. Harness yeah, yourself in. She's always got these things on with little fur pieces hanging off of them. Like just sparkles all over her face. Oh, herself. What are those sparkles all over your face? Sit down. What is that all over your face? Eyeshadow glitter. Oh. Wow. She has a strange smell to her, too. What do you what, what do you have on? I've got patchouli. Patchouli oil? In gallons. You put tons on. Am I disfragrant? Disfragrant. Disfragrant? <laughs> yeah. In a way, yeah. It, it's, it's very strong, the smell. Oh. oh. I, I could smell it down you. the hall. I said, I'm oh, sorry? Boy's I here. didn't mean to offend you. You're not offending me. I'm just, I'm just giving you a personal hygiene tip. It might wow. turn people on if you didn't have that much on. Lighten up on the patchouli, right? Yeah, because I mean, you can sm I can smell you from here, and I'm at least, what, six feet away from you? Well, remember, I've been out in the rain. What's that got to do with it? Well, it soaked into all my clothes instead of blowing away. Uh, yeah, but why uh, smell at all? I mean, why? Why patchouli at all? I hate patchouli oil. Me too. I yeah. love it. I like a nice perfume on a woman. All right, I'll buy some. Yeah, but then a dab. All right. You don't have to stink like a French whore. <laughs> all right? So you heard about the Frankenstein contest? Yeah, and since I've been over at Robert De Niro's drinking all of his champagne, I thought I'd come down and enter. You were at Robert De Niro's? Yeah. What, do you what mean, were you Robert doing? Robert De Niro's what? At his bar, his restaurant and bar. Was he there? The Tribeca Grill. No, he wasn't there. I think he was in Paris, France. You have glitter all over your lips. Doesn't that get in your mouth? No, it's delicious. <laughs> it is good. Yes. Yes. And you went over to the bar. So you weren't with Robert De Niro? No, I was at his bar and grill. Okay. Were you drinking this morning already? No. No. I, I went last weekend. Last weekend. Yeah. And they don't throw you out? No. I, really? I carry my ID with me. You do carry ID? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do people might think you're too young? Yeah. Yes, okay. <laughs> I was wondering how, how, how you pay, Corey, because you always seem to be a little bit low on cash. <laughs> I always go on the first of the month. Oh, I go out, I go out every first of the month. And you get loaded? No. no, I just go to different places. Um, score is on my list too, but I'm not going to go until, well, absolutely before Christmas. Do you, do you, I thought you came down here to borrow twenty bucks from me. I came down here both. I came down here on dual accounts to ask you for twenty dollar for taxi fare home. Mm -hmm. And you mean you came down here primarily <laughs> yeah. to ask you for the operation? Because what do you I want done? You have a very aspects. You have a lovely nose. I know. You see, I've broken it. Oh, I've, I see. I've broken my flesh. Yes. Oh. And what do you, you and you have that? and your breasts are bad? I I pierced my nose. Oh, Robin. oh. So you want a nose job? I want my I want my scar from my where my ear ring, my nose ring came through. Yes. Taken ah. away and I'd like my breast either enhanced or lifted up mm -hmm. like Robins. Uh-huh. Right. And I would like the the fat taken out of my waist so that I could have hourglass and taken off of my thighs and maybe some in my hiney. Really? You want to show me your body naked? I've never seen I it. Came, I came nude 
for appraisal for the operation. Really? Yeah. All right, let me let me uh, yeah. let you evaluate. We're traveling into new I would territory. evaluate. You I don't mind being naked in front he, of us? Is he capable? No, of? because you will see the finished product if I'm chosen, won't you? Right. Can I have a drink? And oh. I do want to be the pride of your your object of affection. Yeah. Well, you're a very they beautiful are woman. Fi- they are your friends, the surgeons. I, I don't I don't really know this surgeon. This is he Sal Calabro. Offered He's offered it. He has. But he is an MD. Does he have a nice reputation? Well, I, I don't know. Does he? Does he have a nicer reputation as the man who who gave the girls the breast? Yeah, I, I hear he's with, good. Through the navel? I hear Georgia, he's good. In George Islands or something? He's just offering it as a prize. He is an MD. He is? Yeah, he runs the Calabro Cosmetic Surgery Center in Philly. Well, I can't. Maybe I he can't. loves you. It's, I guess he maybe does. After this, you'll adore him. Well, maybe. That'll make camaraderie. Yes. No? Yes. Okay, just a second. All right, now what? You're going to take. Oh, I see I see things coming off already. Yeah, you get everything. Uh, Gary, totally here, help Croy and have her lift her microphone yeah, when she stands she's up. She's much more done up in this, so she yeah. was. Uh, yeah. yeah, I just came in naked. I just got out of the bathtub. Just a moment. So far, I see a little bit of your breasts. They don't look all that bad. Let me see. Oh, please, Howard. Really? They're bad? May I tell you that if you love Amy Lynn, you'll know that I would like to have breast implants. Just okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me see what what's doing on your chest. What size cup are you? I'm a C, but also C I long. lift my brassiere in the straps. I see. They're hanging very low. Yeah. Okay, let me take a look. Are they like cucumbers, so I know what to be prepared for? Yes. They are like yes. cucumbers. Okay. Oh, boy. Well, how old is Croy? Is how, old Croy how old are you? I'm 26. <laughs> oh, my. Look at those things. Look at those. <laughs> I'm laughing yeah. at her age, not her breath. Yeah, you do, you, do need, you do need implants, don't you? I'm well, refurbished. Gary. <laughs> now you're totally nude. Gary. Let me see. Turn around. Let me see your ass. Oh, jeez. It's not that horrible. Turn around. Let me see. Oh, she's completely shaved. <laughs> no. 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 It's not bad, honey. No. You're completely shaved, right? No. Yes. You shaved yourself? Yeah, always. Always. Oh. Always. Hit those lights. I said they wanted something nice to work with. Oh. Yeah, the breasts need some inflating. <laughs> and my waist. You need some fat sucked out. Right. Yeah. And? And your butt. And your thighs. Right. Things yeah. be beautiful. Do you work out at all? I like to swim. You do? Yeah. yeah well, maybe you should swim to the doctor. <laughs> maybe I will if you don't take All right, all right. Put your clothes back on because okay. I'm embarrassed. worst thing I've ever done. It might thrill you if I come home absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well. Thank you for everything. <laughs> okay, you were just very naked, Croy. Oh, boy. Yeah, those things, those things are hanging a little low. They are. They are. They are. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I'm very healthy, though. Yeah. That's another reason why I came to you. I know you're an older woman. You, you, they're not, you know, listen. I'm you, not so older, Howard. Well, what are I'm you about? 26, you're not. You're not 26. Howard, Why don't you be honest? my conscious age. Oh, no, what's your right, unconscious when age? When were you born? Um, I'm, I was born in 1944. Oh, you were? Yeah. Oh, All right, so then you're uh, 54 years old. Consciously. Well, consciously. I lived that. All right. Thank you. In all fairness, Howard, we have seen worse. Yeah. You have, oh. At least Robin didn't fall off her seat laughing. No, no, I was only laughing when she said her age. I didn't laugh at her. <laughs> 26? Yeah, I don't know, man. That's a fragrant lie. I'm laughing at 54. Flagrant. Uh, fragrant. The, fra- the fragrance in here is killing me. It is? Yeah, it's, it's a little strong in the patchouli. All right, is there anything else that you wanted to bring up? Gary told me you had a whole agenda. You wanted to borrow 20 bucks, yep. and you want to be in our frank. That's it? Yeah. All right, everything else going okay? Yeah. Okay. Howard, I gotta give Corey credit. She's she's pretty cool about stuff because you know you gave her fifty bucks a couple of months ago. Yeah. And she sent it back like three weeks later. Yeah. Really? She's, remember she sent it back? She gave you the money? Yeah. I'm a good I'm a good investment. You are a good investment. Building up a credit. Well, you're gonna be rich someday anyway. Didn't you invent something for That's Ronald right. Reagan? That's right. Yeah. So did you get back those blueprints? I Mr. Dan Rather last week. I don't know mm-hmm. if he'll answer me because Miss Barbara Walters never answered me. What did you just put on your breast to? Uh... I just put my brush in there. Your what? My, my brush. You put a brush in your breast? No, I put power. What is that? Oh, your pocketbook. Yeah. Oh, you keep it by your breast? It's in my bag. It's more sort of like my pouch. It's more oh. sort of under her armpit, Howard. It's, okay. It's on both. All right, whatever. Okay. Anyway, Croy. Yeah. You sent your you 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 contacted Barbara Walters. I tried. And what did she do? She didn't answer she you? She didn't answer me. And but why you did you contact what? her? Because I thought that she would be valuable to the issue. But you know what I learned? I learned that she's not politically intelligent. Right. I right. could have told you that. But I heard Mr. Dan Rather talking, and he he said he was upset, and he was talking to this other man. And, you know, Charlton Heston is out looking. He's packing gun and everything. I mean, he's really looking for... 
something comprehensible. So as soon as Mr. If Mr. Dan rather calls me in to say, what are you talking about? I'll tell him, please bring Mr. Uh, Charlton Heston here to me right now. Because Charlton Heston will slap the holy F out of Robert... Uh, out of Ronald Reagan because Ronald Reagan Ronald is hiding behind the profession of actor and he's not he does not mm -hmm. have any admiration for me at all interesting but wow. doesn't she realize that Ronald Reagan has Alzheimer's disease and well, if he had something of hers he would oh, I don't believe he has Alzheimer's he's I think he's rapping. Try, exactly he's trying to hide from Croy he's rapping let me tell you yeah oh yeah he's rapping sure. do you think that he's Ronald using the airwaves and we're on internationally and everything that I'm talking about is the foundation the earth that we are standing on is it is what I'm talking about the electricity the water everything is in the foundation and we're just uh, f we're just flying around like little fairies off to space with no uh, call me a fairy <laughs> All right, because you're and sticking up for me that's right I know you that's can, right I always get I Cry, always when you go to a bar like at Robert De Niro's do you uh -huh. talk to people at the bar oh yeah and, and you they, tell them about your stuff no it's not any of their business oh okay oh, you don't tell I just them. enjoy my own evening you do yeah do, do you ever go home with anybody no <coughs> you haven't no. had sex uh, when I've is been, it? and I've been staying in abstinence since I'll tell you the truth since since Ronald Reagan took my property, I've been in abstinence. What exactly did he take again? Your architecture? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two pieces, one for Muhammad Ali and one for Fidel Castro. Right. And in the in the in the crux, C R U X? Yes. In the crux of the whole ordeal, America is the origin of the of which I wish of which I wish to discuss. Do you, when is the last time the, you had to sex? To me the origin is to bring in a revenue. When is the last time you had sex? Long ago. Ten years? No. Five? No. Three. Three years. Yeah. I've been good, right? I've been Well, good. I don't know. Nothing's wrong with sex. Well, there's nothing wrong with me either. Do you get me. horny? I think about my heart all the time. I just can't wait till somebody acknowledges. But do you get horny from men? No, because they don't, I don't have financial security from strange people. Mm -hmm. But do you, do, I mean, I'm just, do you get I mean, sexually, do, do, you have, sex? do you have desire? Yeah, with all my heart. You do? Yeah. And the last guy you had sex with, was he a white guy? No, I, I think he was he was Arabian. Arabian. Yeah, but mm. that kind of hurt me. I would that did kind of hurt me. But then I realized that we are very integrated. We're in a very. You don't sound that different than Robin. She what? sometimes goes three, four oh, years without please. sex. Uh, yeah, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing. I might cry by myself. Right. I too. But I'm really, um, I'm waiting for something good to break for me so I can go out and be free. Do you enjoy backdoor stuff? <gasps> Not especially because it's painful. It is painful. Yeah. You tried it. Yeah. Robin likes it. But I would never refuse my man. You wouldn't. If I had one. No, even if I he, wouldn't. even if he wanted that. No, I wouldn't. Even you take the pain. We'd, yeah, we'd argue about it. Right. All the way to all the way to the end. To the right. <laughs> to the end. Yeah. The bitter end. But she said it hurt her to be with an Arab. You do you not uh, want to have sex with other races? Well, I like I like that particular man. I liked him enough to be his girl. Uh huh. Like that. But you don't particularly go with other races. You like the white guys. He's white. Oh, he was white. Arabian. Arabian is white. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think she meant Italians. Hurt his, hurt white feelings. Oh, hurt of feelings. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. What you I mean. ever do any black guys? I've ha I've given birth twice by a Negro. By a Negro? Yeah. yeah. That's one of the reasons why I'm striving so hard to get my architecture picked up, so that I can give them endowments for their future. Right. Although I do not know them. They were taken away from you. Yeah. Was that painful? Yeah, it yes. still is. Where are that's they? That's my whole purpose for fighting so hard for my my finances. Where are these kids? They're with. They're in the custody of government. They are. Government homes. Mm -hmm. They're not adopted. Is your child Veronica Webb, the supermodel? Oh. No, but she probably will be after I give her money. Right. Yeah, and if I get to meet her, you know, take her shopping and stuff. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Uh, well, before you'll give me the decision. Well, I, it'll be maybe even weeks. It will? Yes. We're going to have a very, very intense contest. Can you wait that long? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What yeah. else has she got to do? <laughs> I just wondered if I'll she was in a rush. Also. So when you go to Robert De Niro's, you talk to people? Yeah. He has nice clientele. And when you start like talking about your architecture and stuff, they don't try to throw you out? No. No? They understand? Why would I try to talk about my architecture? I don't know. Do they drink faster? Do you notice when people yeah, are talking? I'm, I'm not a drinker. No. Anyway. You just I'm go there and talk to people? No, I just go there for the show. Mm -hmm. Like that. And when you get horny for I a man, a, when I you get horny for a man, do you ever um, use like a hot dog or something? No. Never? No, I can have sex anytime I want it. You could? Oh, yeah. People ask me out all the time. They do? Yeah. Hmm. But and I you say, say no? Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. 
Um, about Robert De Niro, I must say one thing. Um, congratulations on your new little baby, Robert De Niro. And I was a little bit disappointed because you didn't have any visual right. enjoyment at your Tribeca Bar and Grill. But it visual was, but, enjoyment? Yeah, you know, like um, like the girls who weren't wearing white. I mean, black. They weren't. It wasn't. It, it wasn't. Ex Elite. It wasn't um, elite. Yeah. Right. Like it just. Well, it could have been nicer. Right. Did they ever pay you to sit there and uh, no. talk to the customers? No. All right. Well, anyway, listen, okay. Croy. I want to thank you. I'm sorry I'm running late. I, I, I'm fascinated by you and the, You're very so certainly. Uh, there's a 16 year old who's running Bumblebee Tuna out there. Go meet him. I did. You did meet him. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Oh, thank you. I'm Croy. Croy. Nice Hi. to meet you. I saw you at William Shatner one time. You did? Yes. It was very good. You well, look great. Well, look for me if I get the breast enhancement. The breast enhancement. Maybe, Evan, the maybe Evan can help you get your architecture back. I can. Absolutely. What do you Give need? Give me your card and I'll call you. Uh, do we have? I don't have a card. I'll I'll I'm sorry. Card card absolutely. Will you, leave your, will you leave your phone number so that I can return all Exa of it? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. I, what, just, I just contacted CBS, Mr. Dan Rather. Oh, okay. I don't know if he's going to answer me or not, but I'll call him. Dan you. Rather. Okay. Thank you, Croy. Thanks. Oh, Take care. care. I gave him my card. Oh, do you have one on you? What, yeah, no, a card. How What's on a card? It's just really funny. She gave it to me a couple of weeks ago. It's like a list of like 20 different things. You know, really? Croy, actress, spiritual advisor. What are some of the things on your card, well, card? What does it say? Advisor. What does it say? What are the 20 things? It says obsessive, cinema, theater actor and uh, for her initially yeah Teresa May Croy Carosa address telephone Nothing. all that on the card yeah okay it's a thick card all right it's a big was card it a, all written up a, no 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 it's it's printed these are printed I cards with no. little there was a lot of printing That's on it right. oh yeah a lot of printing tons of stuff on it myself. oh you, you did, did do what you see you designed these up you know Jackie's wife designs cards no how elaborate yeah, yeah. all right thank yeah. you Croy yeah, so <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm all wet this morning. It's just <laughs> very wet. No, oh, honey. It's raining. You're looking at me, that's why. All right, thank you. Also. Beautiful. Glitter all over her face. Croy, everybody. Big round of applause. Croy. Yeah. I'll give her a 20. Gary, yeah. come see me. That was worth 20. <laughs> thank you, Croy. So, uh, are you hoping now, after you got naked for Howard, that you're going to win this contest? Yeah. Yeah? What do you think your chances are? I think they're 100 percent. 100 percent? Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't have come. No, that was, that was the first time you ever got naked for Howard. Was it a little weird, a little different than usual? No, because I know that you'd tell me the truth. That he would tell you the truth? Yeah. Okay, and, and so you weren't embarrassed or anything? No, like because I'm nice to work with. Uh-huh. Some... Some physician will say I'm glad you sent her. Okay. I mean, he, uh, probably he he might deny me, but in the future I still have to go for myself. Right. Right. So you'd like to get all that stuff eventually. Yeah. Okay. All right, Croy. Well, good luck, man. I hope you uh, I hope you win this contest. You're welcome.